So I kind of wanted to do a little bit of a guide showcasing how exactly do you break grabs in the game since a lot of people are confused as to how exactly the pros manage to break grabs so consistently half of the time, right? Now the way that you can tell when a grab is associated with either a 1 break, a 2 break, or a 1 plus 2 break, it depends on the arms of the opponent when they extend to then go for a command grab of some kind or just a regular grab. So for example, I have King here, he has already a couple of set up recorded command grabs he can do to a 1, a 2, and a 1 plus 2 type of grabs, right? So right now I'm going to make him do a 1 grab specifically. That's the 1 grab. Now I'm going to let him go for it a couple of times so you can see how it looks like. Now to break a command grab that's a one break, you have to press one essentially. But how do you tell if that is exactly to break that particular grab? Well, the arm that the king extended to essentially break said grab is his left arm. His left arm extended first comparatively to his right arm. So if you see the left arm being extended first, that is a one break. Now I'm going to showcase what a command grab looks like if it was a 2 break type. Now how do you break it? With a 2 of course. So whenever you see the right arm extended first, you break it with a 2. Now for the 1 plus 2 version, this is how it looks like when it's used. So instead, both arms are extended exactly at the same time, instead of just one arm being extended first, then the other. So to break this, you already know, you break it with a 1 plus 2, pressing 1 and 2 together to break the grab. Now I play on pad, so it's easier for me to just macro, or I don't know if that's the right word, but key binding 1 plus 2, which is by simply go to the settings, which is right here. And I can just set it up to my 1 plus 2 right here to then break the particular grab specifically that I want. And that's all. Now the move looks like this if you haven't seen it yet. That is essentially how the grabs are broken. You just visually see which arm is being extended. Now it's difficult. It is difficult to do this. I, don't, I, I In fact, I call bullshit a, a half of the times when pros can actually break grab so consistently half of the time. I really feel like, like they just do it on instinct or they do it by simply guessing half of the time. That's what I tend to break grabs. I tend to break it by just guessing. But this is how usually the pros tend to practice. They usually have a set of grabs that they already have recorded and then they'll try to break it in random, essentially. Now, there is a different... Uh, type of grab which is usually just the regular grabs which is like the 1 plus 3 grabs like the bear can do here 2 plus 4 which usually means if you do a 2 plus 4 grab it switches the side of where you were positioned at at the start but the thing about these grabs is that these grabs can be beaten regardless if you press 1 or 2 so now I have King set up with two new grabs, but these are just going to be the regular grabs that he can do with 1 plus 3 and 2 plus 4. That's how it looks like. When he goes for the 2 version, it looks like this. Now I have both of them set up and enabled, so they'll alternate between the two. But you don't have to press 1 or 2 to break it. You can just press 1 and both kinds of grabs can be broken easily. You see? I've only been pressing one. And I should have actually uh, enabled the HUD so you can see exactly how it looks like. Okay, this time I'll have the HUD enabled.
that's it right that's how it looks like you just simply break these two grabs with one but the thing is is that if you want to get better at the game you have to distinguish between the two grabs because when it comes to a command grab they are identical to each other to a generic grab so when a command grab comes out and it's let's say in this case the left arm is being extended and you try to break it in with a tube because you think you can just universally break it with just pressing two with any kind of grab that's not the case you'll have to break it with the associated move or button that's associated with that arm right how one is associated with left arm with the left arm and two is associated with the right arm and if both arms are extended that means you have to press both buttons to break the set of grab now of course when it comes to the command grabs that cannot be broken those are just command grabs that you can break regardless of which button it's associated with right these are non-breakable like how Re how Reina goes into Sentai stands into one plus three, that's a non-breakable grab. Now, if you want to practice exactly how to get better at breaking said grabs, you can just set it up like this. I already have a bunch set up here, but I'm not going to show you how it's done. I'm just giving you an example. Right from the start, from the first action all the way to the third action, I have set up a type of training method, which is not something that's new. Some other individuals already have made videos on it, how to do these settings. But I, same way, have done it as well. And all that I set up essentially is that I have King doing 1-2 into whatever grab that you need to break, which is either the one uh break grab or the two break grab or so on and so forth right so i have three set up for one break grabs and for two break grabs and for the one plus two break grab so if you're feeling that you're stuck when it comes to fighting against players that tend to just smash grabs against you of course you can just simply duck by evading the command grabs but sometimes it's best to learn through trial and error when breaking a grab if anything the only advice that I can give you guys besides this, besides just what I've just showcased when you're trying to break a grab it's better to be slow than to be quick and the reason why that is is that if you're going to be breaking a grab and you assume oh it's the left arm but it was the right arm because you're being too quick about breaking said grab it's better to be slow than to be wrong that the grab that's associated with the right arm the correct arm I mean can be broken with said button right that is the best advice that I can give you guys when you're doing these sessions, when you're training how to break certain command grabs in the game or even generic grabs. So I hope that this video has helped you guys out. I know it's something that people already done already, but I'm just doing it for the sake of just adding it to my channel. So that way, if you don't have to look for these other channels, again, I will be posting up the links to some of the videos that I've seen already. So that way, if you don't want me explaining to you guys exactly how these grabs can be broken, and how you can visually see how these grabs are broken then you can just go to those videos instead okay so all right guys if you guys like what you watch please give it a like or dislike if you want subscribe you to see more of my shit and stay tuned